Let's color a spooky teddy bear from Coco Wyo's coloring book, 100 pages of Halloween. I love this page so much and I'm really excited to get stuck in. So I thought I'd film a couple of little clips of each of the little things that I'm coloring on here. Ignore the blue things, they aren't finished. But here we're gonna color in the teddy bear. It's a spooky one and it's super cute. I love the colors of traditional teddy bears. I love coloring the traditional teddy bear color. Um, so we're going to be going with the uh, orangey brownie type colors um and i've had to kind of like just do tiny bits and then cut to the next color color a tiny bit cut to the next color because i wouldn't be able to fit it in the whole video if i filmed it in real time so the colors that i'm using in this video is going to be like swapping and changing constantly throughout um and i'll list the colors down below but we're using um prismacolor premiere pencils recently tried to do a lot of layers in my coloring and build up layer after layer after layer and it's kind of given me a new look to my colorings which i'm liking a lot more than my usual coloring style so i've definitely added a lot of layers to this teddy bear as you'll be able to see At the final stage of this, I always go on really, really hard, well, press on really, really hard with the lightest color in the pack and try and like blend it all together. So you've kind of got to trust the process when coloring like this, because when I first start out coloring these, I really start to wonder what the hell I'm doing and should I just give up and start a new page because this looks weird. But trust the process and hopefully it looks like semi-okay at the end. Um, let me know if you have this coloring book by the way it's really really good i love it so much i love all of coco wire's colorings um i haven't colored in anything else on the bear yet i started with that ear on the right hand side the other day and colored it with the colors that i chosen and i liked how it looked so i knew right i'm gonna color the rest of the teddy bear with this i just need to get going with it it's always really daunting to get going but once you start you kind of get into a flow and it's like it's fine here i've added quite a few of the darker layers on top of the lighter layers just because sometimes like in the past what i would do is i would have put a light a medium and a dark down and that's it so i would have put the light first and then i'm going to go in with the dark on top and then mix it together with the medium but i've started to really try and added quite a few more in that process like a few more shades so i've added like a it's more of a reddy brown on top and then i've gone in with an even darker reddish brown on top of that and then added the black because i find that when you do add black for the darker areas or the darkest brown that you're using it doesn't end up the exact same color as that pencil when it all blends together it tends to make a really nice color that matches the whole of the theme it's um it's kind of creating new colors i guess but i just really like how it it turns out rather than putting the black straight down the paper putting it on top of other colors it really kind of takes away the harshness of the black because sometimes when you put in a lot of black it can look just like too harsh but if you go in really softly on top of other colors it kind of complements the colors and adds a really nice new shade to them so i've been really really enjoying experimenting with that kind of stuff but i posted a lot of videos on here last christmas and i haven't done any in a long time but they seem to have done really well so let me know if you want to see any more of my like i don't know little colorings um on this channel and i'll be more than happy to color i color nearly every single day so i'm sure i'll find some stuff to film i just have to get around to filming um, but let me know if you want to see more and let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see filmed um, Not that I'm a professional or anything because I'm bloody not but it's fun You know just have a little challenge or have uh, other people to talk to and discuss what we should color in together Maybe let me know also what color you think I should do the stitches on this teddy bear because I don't know what color to go with I'm not sure what color I'm gonna do the patches and the button on his eye or his nose and then the thread with the mouth because obviously it's gonna be a spooky picture um so let me know thoughts because i don't know yet obviously here i'm going in with the black now 
adding in the darker darker areas where i want the most shadow i've had to be really careful underneath the bear's like chin because where that meets his body is going to be a really dark shadow as well so i didn't want a big chunk of like darkness because it might all blend together and look really weird you won't be able to like distinguish between the body and the head so i've only added a slight slight bit of black as you can see in this bit underneath like the right hand side and stopped kind of halfway and left the left side um with the orangey brownie colors just to be able to separate it from his body when i get around to doing his body but i have had to also go in a bit dark there because there was already a lot of shadow on the page at this part so i wanted to go over the top of that and make it obviously the color of the bear but again i've gone back in with some of the lighter colors that we used at the beginning adding more layers on top blending the layers together the good thing about prismacolor pencils is they blend so freaking nice i love them they're like butter they are my favorite pencil in the entire world and i've got many different uh, brands right now i've like built up a big collection and i just only use my prismacolors so it was kind of a waste of money because these are my favorite pencils in the world if you ever need to blend anything these will do it and i always press really hard as well i probably shouldn't i know some people think that's like not a good practice to do but others also do it a lot as well so i think it's based on preference whether you like to push down hard whether you go on light but i do like to i like to go on light in certain circumstances like when i go on with the black so it's not too like harsh because that's obviously really hard to blend and take back out but the lighter colours, I do like to go in and blend it together and push down pretty hard to like get rid of those lines between the colours and blend them nicely. It's This bear ended up not perfect. I've only done his head so far, but it's not perfect. There's definitely a lot more things I could do better and add to it or to make his face look a bit rounder because it doesn't look very round but it's all a learning experience and i just enjoyed it i just really i really like coloring teddy bears and i don't know why my favorite things to color are teddy bears food and what else is it i quite like coloring hair i really don't know why let me know what your favorite things to color in are though i'd love to know that i'm quite intrigued uh, there's something about teddy bears and food i just really enjoy the whole process I don't tend to venture away from the traditional teddy bear colours very much either. Um, I coloured in a teddy bear for Christmas a couple of years ago. Like it was a bear in a stocking. It's on my Instagram page. And I did that almost probably the exact same colours that I've done this one. Because I just really like how this colour comes out on a bear. So we're just sweeping away the little bits that come out of the pencil when you push down hard and this is the final product i think obviously we've only done the bare face we haven't done any of the eye or anything but what do you think i really like it i like how it's come out there's things i could do better but he's a cutie this is his final little look and uh next we're gonna have to move on to the body and uh sort that little legs and arms out yeah, thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.